Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Today I'm showing you guys what I got from Stationery Pal for their back to school sale. After unboxing it, I'll also be decorating my sketchbook cover while doing a mini draw with me. Before we get started, I want to mention I will be hosting a giveaway with Stationery Pal, so make sure to check the description for all the details on that. I also have a special discount code for you guys to use. You can use the code HERSHEYDRAWS, all caps, for 12% off as well as a link to in the description so I get a small commission when you purchase something at no extra cost to you. Starting off, I absolutely love the packaging Stationery Pal uses. It's so aesthetic and colorful and it makes the unboxing experience just so much better. I especially love the heart bubble wrap, it's just so cute. So first, I thought I'd show some of the freebies that were in the package. First, there is this white bear plush that is so adorable, as well as this bracelet, and I'm going to assume that's a good luck charm of sorts. There's also this really cute pop socket that has a blue flower design, which I find really aesthetic. I actually put it on my phone after filming this, and it actually works really well. Plus, it matches the case that I have on right now. There's also this bell ornament, a smiley face pin, which I thought was really cute. And there's also a clear acrylic clip, which again is super cute. I really, really like the design. It's in a heart shape and I really like that. Along with all that, they also sent me a really sweet note that was really nice of them. I did blur out the name because it was my real name. I really liked the whole unboxing experience because it was just so fun because it felt like kind of a mystery because you don't know what your hands would reach for next. Here are most of the freebies uh, at the top of the box. I did find some more later on that were sprinkled throughout the unboxing so I'll be showing that along the way. Starting off here is one of the many sticker packets that I ordered. I saw so many cute designs on their website and I really like the style variation that they had. This set mainly contained transparent white doodles and the cool thing is that all the sticker packets had this sort of like backing card um, that I think would make really cute like posters for wall decorations or wall collages or something. So I really really like the sticker set. I'm very happy that I got it. I got a two set of the Pentel Energel and I Roy Koguma pens. Um, a bit of a tongue twister, but the other one is later on. I will show later on. I also got a Tombow Mono Clear Mechanical Pencil in the color pink. I really like this pencil because it has a 0.5 tip, which I find better for adding details. And like, it's, it just looks so cool. Like, it's motivating me to draw just by looking at it. I also got an electric eraser because I heard a lot of artists say that this is really good for realism doodles or just erasing like really small details because they work really well and fast. Next up, this is absolutely adorable, but I got a 12 pack of washi tape. I think this is so cute because it's packaged like their macarons and I really like that concept. They're just in rainbow, so yeah, there's they're just pastel rainbow colors and I really like this. Next up, I also got the Monami water-based twin markers, which I plan to use as fine liners. I've been looking more into colored liners, and I think this set would work really well because of the skin tone color scheme. Now is something that I was super excited for, and it's the mini chocolate notebook. I picked this purely for pleasure because, uh, I don't know, it's just something so cute, and I feel like it's kind of ironic because my channel name is Hershey Draws, and Hershey's are chocolate, and this is a chocolate notebook. Either way, this is so cute, and my family said that smelled like chocolate, so I thought that was pretty cool. Here's how it looks, it has like a little bitten like design, and I really like the cover because it's super 3D and it's just so cool. So yeah. Here are the rest of the washi tapes that I got. This time they had patterns and they weren't just plain colors. The first set that I got was blue and I also got a pink set. The first one obviously had blue themed patterns and the second one was pink themed. Some of them did fall out of the box, I guess during shipping, but none of them were damaged in any way. And I really like the designs. They're very minimalist, but they're also really cute and a great way to spice up your sketchbook spreads. Since this is an art channel, I thought it'd be fitting to get a sketchbook, so I decided to get the Academy watercolor paper pad. It's 200 grams and it has 20 sheets. It's also a watercolor block, um, so there's something to keep in mind, it's not like a regular sketchbook. I didn't actually use it in this video itself, but I did try it out on my own time off camera. I tried using watercolors, gouache, and acrylics, and it actually works really well for all those. It handles water really well, um, and I'd say that's a pretty good sketchbook. So if you are thinking of getting a new sketchbook, a watercolor sketchbook, then this should definitely be a contender. After that, I also wanted to show this little freebie. Um, it's just a really cute hat that I found. 
I also got this washi tape. It's super pretty. It's a white one with gold celestial design. It has stars and comets and it's just super pretty. The camera doesn't do it much justice, but it looks, it looks so good IRL. Next are the two other sticker packets that I ordered. The first one is the Milk Candy Rabbit ones. I really like the design of all four sheets. It does come with four different sheets. Um, they're not all the same. This is how they all look. Again, it came with the backing card like I mentioned before. There's a blue one, a red one that's kind of more strawberry themed, a purple one that has more like grape designs, I guess, and the last one which is yellow, which I think is my favorite because I just really like the color scheme of it. I also got the Cheese Bear sticker pack and I love all the colors for the sticker packet. These are just so cute. Again, it comes with four different sticker sheets. Not, They're not all the same and the colors are different this time as well. They also came with a backing card. Uh, first is this green one, then we have this peachy pink one. We also have this chocolate one, which is very fitting. And then again, we have an orange one, which I think is super cute. I really like the drawing style for all of these and I'm very excited to use them. I also got some pre-cut dessert themed stickers. I absolutely love the variation. They all just look so yummy and I've already started using a lot of them. So yeah. At the bottom of the package were all the campus notebooks that I ordered. I only ordered two of these, I'm pretty sure, but they did give extra and I got sent three. I'm pretty sure is probably a freebie, but yeah, I really like these notebooks. They're very nice to write on. They're also very good quality and they have a lot of pages, so I will definitely be using them for lots of stuff. The rest of the stuff is basically just pens and pencils. Here's the Pilot Colored Eno in 0.7 lead size. And it is the red color, which I think is really good for pre-sketching, especially when I'm painting. Here is the second pencil Energel X Chira Koguma pen. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I think I like the design of this one slightly better than the other one. I also got the Pentel brush pen for calligraphy since my old calligraphy pens are very crusty and the tips aren't that sharp anymore, so the calligraphy isn't very like that good. I also got six Tombow brush markers. I'll be swatching everything later so you can see the shades that I picked out. I decided to go with more of a citrusy color scheme and I really like it. Overall, the unboxing experience, like I mentioned, was really entertaining. I feel like it sets the whole mood for all the items and just makes it so much more fun. And now we are getting to on the cover of my sketchbook. I've always wanted to decorate the cover of my sketchbook, but either I didn't have stickers or I didn't have a sketchbook with a blank cover because most of the time I order Canson sketchbooks and they usually have like a marking on the cover so I can't really do that that well. Finally, the time has come! So this is the Moleskine sketchbook. It has 104 pages so it's gonna take quite a while to completely fill. Let's hope that I get most of it done during summer break. It's 165 grams which I say is pretty good for most mediums. So far, I've only used it for marker art and regular pencil sketches, nothing too special. So I don't know how well it holds up against watercolors or gouache. But I think that my regular Canson Mixed Media sketchbook only has 36 pages and that takes me two months to fill. So it's safe to say this one will take a long time. I'm hoping that I'll get through a good chunk of this during my summer break because I know that when the school year is coming, it'll be very hectic and busy. For the front cover, I decided to use stickers from all the packs that I got. I was going to use among some other stickers that I've been collecting, but it didn't really match the pastel theme, so I just decided to replace them with the sticker packets instead. Overall, I really like the composition of the stickers, and as you can see, I have already started the swatching. I decided to swatch the markers and pens that I got just to see how they looked on the sketchbook paper. And this is also something that I usually do with my art whenever I get new art or stationery supplies. So I decided to swatch all the pens and pencils that I got, also the fine liners from the Monami water based pen set. I actually really like all the colors in this set and I also decided to take out the washi tapes that I got and just put them out there because I didn't want to leave the page blank and I also didn't feel like drawing something else in that small space. So I thought that I'd just do like a washi tape collage and it actually worked out really well. 
Another thing I do want to mention is that these stickers from the bear kind of theme packs, um, all the stickers that I got except for the dessert theme ones were not pre-cut so I did have to cut them out myself which did take a lot of extra time but I'd say that the end result is definitely worth it. I also decided to stick that bear sticker that I got from the packaging earlier and I'm very happy with how the spread turned out. Now we are going to be doing a mini draw with me. I decided to include this in here because why not and also it's just a nice way to end the video. So for this mini draw with me, I am drawing Klee from Genshin Impact and Dodoko who is kind of like her friend I guess. The Summertime Odyssey event has recently come out in the game and I have enjoyed playing through it. It's a very time consuming event but it's definitely fun and I really like all the characters in it. Last year Klee was included in the event I'm pretty sure so uh, I decided to draw her this year and I really like her design. I believe this is my first time drawing her and it actually came out well, a lot better than I thought it would and yeah. I am using the Energel X Chirai Koguma pen to outline it. Again, I am probably butchering that name really badly, but I absolutely love those pens. I've been using them for outlining a lot, and honestly, they don't even smudge that much when I use my alcohol markers or these water-based markers. And even though I can't do much like variation in the lines with them, they're very like solid and I really like using them for that. So I'll definitely be using them for outlining a lot more as well as just writing in general. For the coloring part, I decided to use the Tombow brush markers that I got. I did get more of a citrusy like selection, so I wasn't exactly sure how all the colors would work with Klee's kind of costume. So I did end up changing her to a different dress that I found on Pinterest. It's a very cottagecore aesthetic. And I ended up using the Monami pens that I mentioned from earlier to kind of create this like hatching sort of effect. And I think that actually looks pretty well. I really like how this press spread turned out, even though it isn't like a full finished drawing that I usually do with my alcohol markers. I really like the color scheme with the red and the yellow, even though it is giving McDonald's and Wendy's vibes, we're not going to talk about that. I ended up getting two skin tone Tombow pens as you can see, so I did use one of them to shade while the other one was more of a base color. I also have been using them for calligraphy a little bit and they work really really well. I've been enjoying creating gradients with them and it's just so satisfying to use them, especially because they're still new and juicy and I really like them. I did end up not doing the bottom half of the page even though I outlined it because the drawing did not turn out good. Um, I wasn't really that satisfied with it after I outlined it. I thought that it looked very demented and it just didn't look that good so I decided to instead just do the top half of the page and I'm very happy about that decision. I did cover it up with a sticky note and I went over it later with like an eye doodle so it's not like completely empty but yeah. I used my purple mild liner from before to, to create some shadows and add some depth and I'm very happy with that decision as well. So I did want to take a second to talk about Stationery Pals back to school events. Loads of products are having a discount up to 50 to 70% off. You can also use the code HERSHEYDRAWS, all caps, on the screen on these products and you can use the link in the description so I receive a small commission every time you purchase something on their website at no extra cost to you. Stationery Pals also giving away AirPods, Fitbits, Polaroid cameras, and Kindles to random customers no matter the amount that you order. So be sure to check out Stationery Pals website for more details on the event. And let's get back to what I'm actually drawing. For final touches, I decided to add this little strawberry um, bunny sticker from one of the sticker sets earlier, as well as this like washi tape sort of one and I'm very happy with how this page turned out. I ended up writing Klee and calligraphy at the bottom, and that's the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check the description like I said before. Also, thank you so much Stationery Pal for giving me the opportunity to do this video. I had a great time reviewing all the supplies, and the unboxing process was so fun. So stay safe, stay healthy, and peace out. Bye!